Today, we're going to go over approvals in Coupa, how they work, where to find them, and what you should do with them. So we are going to start by going to our list of approvals. You can manage your approvals in two different places, either from your to-do list or from your activity. I would recommend your activity because in your to-do list, you can see there are invoices that require approval, change orders, receipt requests. This is pretty much every activity. If you just want to see your approvals, you would go to your name, go to activity, and under, under activity, the view requiring my approval. There is the request that I must approve, order, order changes, invoices, so these are going to be your four areas that you potentially are going to have approvals. These are the ones that are waiting for my approval right now. And as you can see, this first one is a shipping memo. Um, if I want to see the details of this, I can select the requisition. It will show me the details. In these details, it is kind of my responsibility as the prover to make sure that the person that orders it is someone I trust, someone should be ordering this, what account this is going to, so if this is incorrect or not, I need to be able to send this back to my uh, person and say, hey, the GL is incorrect, I need you to fix it. Um, and then this will be who all has to approve it. So if I wanna see someone, if I wanna add someone after this, I can do that here. Um, if I want to add someone to watch this, I can do that here. If I want someone to approve it before I do, I can do that here. So those are all activities that I get from actually approving in the system itself. Now, I can set up my notifications to actually get a notification via email so that it will go into my Outlook inbox. And that is what this looks like. As you can see, it gives me a lot of the same information. If I scroll down, it gives me all of the details that I'm going to need. It does not, however, give me the add watcher or add approver button. To do any of those, I actually have to go in the system. From here, I do have the ability to click the view, and it will actually take me to this screen in Coupa, and then I can edit and do things I need to do from here. Now, if I'm going to reject this, I can type a note that just says, please change GL code, and then reject. I have to have a comment here to be able to reject this with some sort of notation as to why I'm rejecting it. If I decide to approve this because everything is correct, I can just select approve, and the system will then approve this order. Since I am the last approval in the approval string, Coupa actually takes this requisition and moves it to a PO. I can see that by going to my activity, and it's now gone from requiring my approval. I can actually see things that I've approved in the past by just changing my view and my shipping memos right here, and you can see Coupa has already changed the status to ordered and issued a PO to the supplier. So that's how fast that happens. Um, the other section you'll get a lot of requests is invoices. So if we go to the invoice section, um, you can see all the invoices we have waiting for approval here. Now, we talked about two different ways you can manage these approvers or approvals. One is via email in your inbox. The other is coming in here and actually seeing it. There's actually two other methods. One is there's actually a Coupa app, and there are app instructions located on our PNG Coupa team site for you if that is something you would like to do. I actually prefer this next method I'm going to show you, which I actually turn off all my notifications going to my inbox, and I actually don't come here to look. I actually have the system send me a report or an email that lists everything requiring my approval. So um, when I do that, I basically use the schedule email button. Um, I have this sent to me every day. If it's empty, I tell the system not to send it to me. So that way, the system basically just gives me a list of things I have to come in and approve. If it's empty and I don't have anything, 
I don't have an action to take. Um, and by not receiving the report, I know I don't have anything to do. So I prefer to manage it that way. Um, but here is kind of a list of things that are sitting in my approval queue. I don't have to go in and review. I can actually approve from this queue. However, I would not suggest that. And here's the reason why. Um, when you select and you actually want to see the details, you can select the invoice number and it will take you to the details of the invoice. You can see from this particular invoice, um, it's very very brief as to what I'm being charged. There is an attachment here um, showing me what I'm being charged. Um, so this is kind of the details of my bill. A couple hints about invoices. Invoices can either be entered by suppliers or by us internally to Penn National. Um, I can see who has entered this in my activity. This person works for Penn National. Um, I can also see on um, the, if there's an attachment here, more than likely this is what was entered by someone from Penn. A lot of times I will see no attachment. That's a key indicator that it's potentially been entered by a supplier. You can also note that there's no purchase order attached to this invoice. If there is no PO, we know that this was entered by someone internally to Penn suppliers can only enter PO, PO invoices. So the things I need to check is, is this the right GL code that this is being charged to? And why is this not on a PO? So should this be on a PO? Has a PO already been entered? That's really my biggest question. Has my department already issued a PO for this? If the answer to that is yes, you're going to want to reject this and tell AP which PO this needs to be entered to. If the answer is no, we need to work with our team and find out why we haven't issued a PO to DirecTV, why we didn't issue a PO, and moving forward, we need to get POs issued. And that will actually save us a lot of this review time. We only have to issue and review the PO and then none of this is necessary. So in this particular case, this is in fact, um, there is not a PO that exists for this. It is in fact being charged to the wrong account. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, this should have been charged to, and I'm going to include the right GL code here. And then when I'm done, I'm going to hit reject. And this is going to be sent back to our accounts payable team and they are going to modify this and resubmit it for my approval. So that is how we can kind of manage from that queue. Again, we can always manage from our, our to-do list. We can manage from our activity. We can use the Coupa app or we can actually get Coupa through our activity screens to be able to send us reports of what we have in fact to do in these specific areas. So that is how you approve. Those are your responsibilities when approving, and those are the four different methods we can use to track documents that require our approval. Hopefully this helps. Have a good day.